Okay, this is the process by which we used Intex workflow to move a document from one document library to another while at the same time preserving the version history. So you see here we have a document here, it's actually a CSV file, and I've actually uh, uploaded it a couple of times and made some changes to it. So uh, also published some major versions, so you'll see we're up to version two. Now I'm going to click on the actual item here and go to view version history. And you'll see the two versions here. I have my first version and then I upload another version of that document and added a few rows and I've added those comments. So how do we move this particular document from doclib1 to doclib2? And you'll see in doclib2 I have no documents. Let's refresh that just to double check. Yep. Okay. Now what we have is we have a workflow on this document uh, on this document library called move document from lib to lib and I have a web request action. So let's take a look at what makes up the actual call here. First of all, we're calling this author.dll. This is something that just comes uh, stock standard as part of SharePoint. We have to provide the content type, which is that's the default one for the web request anyway. But the other thing we need to do is add a a header called X Vermeer content type, and it's basically the same content type as up here. Make sure it's a post, and then you'll see the actual body of the call here. Method, we're doing a move document. Let's actually scroll down a little bit. And then really all we're doing here is putting together the old URL, and you can see that's the original document library, and we have uh, it clicked on insert reference so let's actually click on this again we've gone to item properties and all we've done is inserted this name property which is the file leaf reference so this is the original document in document library one and then we have a new url and there you see it says doclib2 with the same file name so we're preserving the file name as well as uh, hopefully the version history now this is it, I'm not going to do too much else here. You could make this a lot more robust in you know, enabling error handling and checking the results and all that sort of stuff, but this is just a proof of concept to make sure we can move a document from document library one to document library two. All right, now let's actually open the, uh, the workflow. There's my workflow there. We should have that one web request action and all we're going to do is click on start. Let it run for a few seconds, and there it is. You'll see in Doclib1, we no longer have that. It was actually called Call History 2016 so that is no longer there. I'll move to the Doclib2, and let's refresh this. There is our document, you see, 2006-01, and you'll see it still says version 2.0. Let's have a look at the version history. And you'll see exactly the same version history, 1.0 with the comments first version and 2.0 with the comment add a few rows. So it's as simple as that to move your workflow. Now, I do want to mention that you do not have to have this specific workflow run on the document you're trying to move. You could actually have like a site workflow that also makes the same call uh, as long as you specify the particular document uh, and document library, the old URL and the new URL. That is it. I hope this is helpful for you. Uh, and that is all.